How's it going guys? I'm your host Devso4066 and welcome back to this week's Dragon Fable release. So this is my this is actually my second time recording the video because my recording software actually crashed on me the first time. Ugh, that's so annoying. But anyways, we have quite a big release this week, so this week we are going to be separating the video into two parts so we are going to have two different videos because I don't want to combine into one gigantic video for you guys to see so for the first part I'll be going through the Lucky Day storybook and it and the Lucky Day release whereas for the second video I'll be covering the highly sought after and highly awaited Doom Pop class which uh, everyone has been waiting to see so Rainbow's Edge uh, the Rainbow's Edge cosmetic weapon is now available. Okay, okay, this is a spam error here. Until the end of March, this weapon has no combat stats and is purely for being shown. Please let us know what you think about this sort of item. Your feedback is invaluable. Alright, so the Rainbow's Edge weapon, uh, I'm going to show it to you guys here first. So you can see it looks like this. It basically adds a cosmetic effect to your attacks and 0 to 0 light with no uh, stats whatsoever. And here it's showing a scythe icon but it's actually a dagger so that's kind of weird if you try to preview it you can't see anything i assume uh you just keep your regular weapon that is equipped and your all your attacks turn into nice rainbow flashes like this one so yeah so for 500 dcs uh the staff is looking to see if there is a market for this kind of items and they really want your feedback so do let the staff know either through discord or through the forums ideally through the forums so uh Verly knows whether he wants to release more of these sort of items in the future in my opinion i think it's not worth it for 500 dragon coins if you want to make a purely cosmetic item then uh lower the price maybe 100 or 250 dcs this is after all just a skin if you call it of sorts for your weapons and uh, personally, in Dragon Favor, you show your weapons. You show the uh, weapons that have special effects because you want the special effects to activate. Uh, say, for example, my Blade of All that I always use because I want the healing effect. If you want to add this sort of weapon, either make it a separate thing from shown weapons. So, like, maybe you can just apply the skin on top of the weapon. At the same time, you can still have the special effect of the shown weapon that you want. Or. Uh, the second option would be to lower the price, maybe 100 or 250 dragon coins would be more worth it. Purely cosmetic item alone, 500 dragon coins I will not buy it because I want to save my dragon coins for stuff that uh, is uh, going to make more sense like the upcoming Chaos Weaver class that we've been waiting so long for. So I don't really want to waste it on a cosmetic item unless it's super cheap. And lastly, uh, my third alterna alternative is that you can add stats to the weapon make it a proper weapon so and then maybe you can raise the price a bit so yeah that's my opinions on the item unless you just have a crap ton of dragon coins lying around i would not advise buying that so for this week's quest we have rainbow's end the legendary forest of rainbow's end has appeared rumor has it that a powerful treasure awaits in the heart of the forest will you be able to secure it for yourself or will you be beaten to the treasure rainbow's end is available from chapter 10 of the lucky day storybook Right, so let's head over to the Lucky Day storybook and it is your similar maze style quest. Now, I've only done this quest once. I've not uh, seen anyone commented on the quest yet. Neither have I seen uh, or heard of uh, any comments on this uh, quest yet. So throughout this quest, you can actually be goldified. Okay, so they, they are saying that the goldified status actually reduces your movement speed. And... For me, it has not affected my movement speed in any way. Also, it has not affected any of my stats in any way. Maybe the staff hasn't implemented that yet. So, if they are planning to implement it soon, then I think it will be a cool little effect to add to the game. Though, of course, it is an annoying effect. Nobody likes their movement speed to be slow. And I will assume it's just temporary until you log out. So, I'm not logged out yet since the first time I did the quest. Also, the first time I did the quest, I actually got to the end. I would say... Pretty quickly, looking at the uh, description of the quest, it sounds like it's a lengthy quest, but this being a seasonal event at all, and uh, with this week's release being kind of big, I don't think it's a very big quest. Maybe I just got lucky the first time, so my second time doing the quest, let's see uh, if this took as long as it did for the first time. I'm not really sure, hopefully it doesn't, and yep. So the Sneevel Corn is the one that uh, goldified me and it turns your skin into this uh, golden yellow color. For those of you guys that have not noticed, no I did not actually 
change my skin color if it if they godify you this is what becomes of your skin color and it does not leave or go away even after you exit the quest it stays with you I at least I think until you log out so yeah okay another thing I was uh, that I'd like to bring up is I hope that the staff actually comes out with a small indicator of like where you come from for this sort of long quests because uh, when you're fighting one enemy like this, like it's pretty easy to keep track of which direction you came from. But if you're fighting like three enemies and the fight takes a bit longer than usual, you may forget which direction you come from, especially you if you have a short term memory like me. So I just want to see, uh, like this this is something very easy to add and will provide a nice small quality of life change. So just a small indicator of which direction you come from for this uh, sort of maze quest. For the regular quest, you don't need that, but uh, it would be nice to see implemented in this sort of maze style quests so that we know exactly which direction we came from before and yeah that would be really nice to see ok let us do charge burst again Let's go down here instead. Uh, I'm usually not known to be lucky for picking directions, so hopefully I pick the right one this time round. No crits. Uh, or no crits. Right. But it looks like we'll be able to take them all out in the next turn with a regular charge burst attack. So Epoch isn't, uh, is obviously not the best class for questing, so you guys might want to switch to a more efficient questing class. You guys want to do this quest instead of sticking with Epoch like what I did here. Nice. Wow, lots of multiple enemies here. Of course, my baby dragon chooses to go after the gold talk instead of the 10 health steve Ah, uh, That's fine. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, and goodbye to you. She had just done the crit the first turn, that would have saved me a lot of trouble. Okay, so something tells me it might be going the wrong way. I'll probably have reached the end by now uh, during my first run of the quest. Hopefully my recording software doesn't give me problems again. Eleven health, oh come on. Oh no, baby dragon, why do you heal my mana? I did not need that mana heal. Uh, Also, uh, throughout the week, the staff has also added some tweaks to the Soul Weaver uh, classes, which I'll go through in a bit. And you guys can check it in the design notes. So after some feedback uh, from you guys and maybe from my video, I don't know if the staff watches my videos, but uh, the staff has actually tweaked the Annihilation skill on Soul Weaver to make it a bit more useful since I commented that it was completely useless now uh, that whoops that was the wrong skill that uh, they changed it so they tweaked it again and I'll go through it later at the end of this video so I think we are going the right way because we are we once again come to another break in the path and we once again shall follow the path of the gold talk 
So let's see if it's right. And if it's not, we are going to have to do a lot of backtracking, which is annoying. Oh, healing my mana again. That is so useless. Wow, more multi enemies. Okay, this is definitely taking way longer than my first run. Uh, really hoping that my recording didn't crash for my first run. Well, but at least now I know it's not as short of a quest as I thought it was. But honestly speaking, I really did not expect this stuff to come out in such a lengthy quest. Since uh, it being a seasonal release and all, so yeah, that was pretty annoying. And for my first run, I did not get the maxed out uh, version of the reward, so I I was gonna have to do the quest again anyways if I wanted to have the maxed out version. So oh well. Yep, let's just finish you off. And no, looks like. Still not there. Oh my god, please don't tell me it's a healing pair at the end of this path. I'm going to be so annoyed. Ah, uh, something tells me we are not going the right way. There's a lot of monsters. I'm not seeing the boss yet. So yes guys, looks like this is a pretty long quest. Hopefully it's just a 20 by 20 room and not those insane 100 by 100 rooms because that is gonna take me forever. No boss, another break in the path. Oh my gosh. So we've gone through 3 breaks in the path so far and I've not been very lucky for my second run. It's taking quite some time. And let's just stick with going down. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me once again. Of course the Steamocon is left with some health. Oh, I'll do that. And kill him. Yes, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try going upwards. Oh, another break. Is this another break in the path? No, this was the way I came from. Wow, lots of breaks in the path, so... Uh, I hate that. It, it tells me that I could be getting a lot further from where I am. I'd rather have it like uh, linear all the way, so I know uh, that way that I take will uh, is for sure getting me closer to the item, as opposed to many breaks in the path, whereby the path I take uh, could just very well be leading me further and further away from the ending, so yeah, that kind of sucks. Wow, another break in the path. Are you kidding me? Another crossroad. Okay. Oh, jeez. This is gonna take a while. So our sustain is doing quite well. We still have almost all of our HP and MP rush, but... Uh, um, please. Oh, God. That path is the wrong path. Please let this be the right path and please no more breaks. I wanna kill myself. I hate long quests like this. I really do. Um, hmm, can I tell I'm annoyed yet? Once again, we have another pathway to choose from. Right, let's just head left first to see. 
Oh, another healing pad. Wow, how amazing. That's definitely wrong, so... Now let's do charge burst. So if you guys are farming for the max star of version of the reward and you don't get it on your first try, it's going to, going to be hella tedious to get the final level version of the reward. So ah, wrong way. Okay, this way is the wrong way. This way is the wrong way. You see, this is why I hate having a short term memory. Can't remember which way you come from. So staff, if you hear me, add an indicator. To the places where you visited before. This will of course make maze quests infinitely easier, and I know they probably won't want to do it, but uh, please. Okay, so let's just continue enough of my whining. So, the top way is definitely the wrong way. Maybe I, I'm so happy to see like dead endings because uh, at least I know I have to backtrack and. Those ways are confirmed wrong, so it's nice to see a confirmation that the way I'm going is wrong instead of uh, blindly leading me to more breaks in the path and then like uh, going even deeper down the wrong way. Okay, oh, right, so this way was completely wrong. We need to go back to the previous break. The break before this, that way leads nowhere. Alright, so let's try going right this time. I really hope I don't have to go through every single room before I find the boss. That's going to be so, so annoying and it's going to make this video super long. So if this video becomes super long, I'll probably speed it up. Didn't I expect them to have such a big release especially for a seasonal one so yeah no okay one more break uh back to the previous break in the path right, so my first run it probably took like less than half the time of that I'm taking for this second run Hopefully this is the right way. We went through a few more breaks in the path just now, so yeah. If this is the wrong way, please just give me a healing pad on the next room. I don't wanna go any further knowing that this is the wrong one. Healing pad or boss? No. Healing pet or boss? No. Healing pet or boss, please. Next room. Oh, oh my. Oh. Oh my god. Come on, don't do this to me. I wish I had the same amount of luck I had during my second run when I did my first run. Wow, baby dragon managed to stun that guy. Not impressed. It's just a regular monster. Healing pad, okay, fine. Definitely not that way. Boss, in the, the next room, please. Boss room, please. Yes, boss room. All right. So the weapon is that you get is basically this spear here you see from this guy. So yeah, finally. And 
And yes, the boss is weak to darkness, so use the darkness weapon. Okay, yeah, use the shield for baby dragon there, that's fine. Yes, yeah, so this looks like to be a 10, is it a 10 by 10 or 20 by 20 uh, room? I'm not sure, you have to wait till the official info subs are out. But yeah, it looks like it's a pretty, it can be a pretty lengthy quest if you guys get unlucky. So, go settle in a good questing armor. I will recommend Rift Walker if you're a warrior. And if you're not a warrior, then you can get something like, uh, probably not so Weaver now, maybe like a 2 Adept. That will be a good questing armor if you have mana upkeep. And let's check out the loot for DCs. This is the weapon, like I said. Obviously, it's not as strong as uh, the new blot here, Ultimate Blinding Light. But uh, its stats are pretty good. BPD 3, you get uh, crit 15, MPM 9, Charisma 12, Luck 12, Main Stat 18, Bonus plus 10. I would expect the Luck stat to be a bit more, but I guess that's fine. It's a pretty good looking weapon, so. And seeing that it's a uh, scythe, it can be used for all classes. So, yep. And once again, I did not get the 1190 version, which means I'm going to, have to do this quest again off camera if I want that. So, yeah. Stay tuned for the second uh, part of today's video where I will be showcasing the Doom Pod class. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more such future content. Till the next time, this has been Devs0406. Peace out.